All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Of course, thanks for subscribing and liking the videos. We're back at it just as we finished our final drive for FSD beta 10.69.2.3. And we got an update and we thought it was going to be 10.69.3 proper with some major updates and major upgrades. But instead, we got 10.69.2.4. So we're going to take it for a quick spin on our first pass. We're not going to do the second pass. We're going to do the first pass. And this time, I'm going to do it a little bit differently. I'm going to actually just call out the things that I think 10.69.2.3 would do and see if 10.69.2.4 has improved on that or does the exact same thing. So a little bit of a different format here. Release notes look largely the same, so I'm not sure what change, but let's just jump into it and see what happens. Switch profile, so it's gonna take a minute for FSD beta kicks in on the visualization and gets activated anyway. So I'll just wait for it to kick in. As you see here, it's just waiting, waiting, waiting. And then it sort of wakes up after a certain point in time. Hopefully by the time this traffic, there we go, it kicks in. Now I can activate it. On the Model S refresh and Model X, if it goes to deep sleep, it will wake up without FSD activated and it sort of kicks in after a while and see all the cars animating in. So that's pretty cool to see. But uh, if you're in a hurry and you need to activate it quickly, it can be problematic. So I will activate here and I expect it to be a little bit herky-jerky just as 69.2.3 was. I want to just say 2.3 going forward just to make it a little simpler. And this is 2.4. 2.3 kind of biased where those cars are closer to the right side. This one seems to be a little bit more Okay, there we go, doing it the same way. All right, creeping up, car's turning, we can go. Very aggressive, wow. Very aggressive. Very, very aggressive, hit up a little bit of a pothole. Actually spun the wheels, damp conditions, foggy today. Um, a lot of leaves on the ground as well for traction. Don't know if that plays a factor, but let's just see. A little hesitant, it's gonna get into this little uh, shoulder to try to make the turn. Just as 2.3 would, exactly the same. Good distance, good mile an hour. It's gonna get wide on this turn right here very wide all the debris kicking up as a result struggling with traction a little bit uh, I do have switch back to the summer tires versus the winter tires but any tire would slip with uh, wet leaves under them it's gonna go wide again here And it may get into the middle of this lane for the unprotected left and then decide to take off. Let's see what happens. That's what 2.3 would do. Pedestrian sees it in blue. Good job. Creeps up. It's clear to go. It's clear to go. Has a tent, just like I said, and it goes. So very much exactly the same as 2.3. I'm not sure what the difference is here with 2.4, and, and I'm not sure why we didn't go to uh, 69.3 instead, but it seems very much of the same. Same hesitation. Same indecisiveness in certain areas. I'll bump up to 30 just to expedite the process. 
and uh, same turning angles um, in terms of taking certain turns, wide, slow, etc. Breaking a little hard, but not terrible. School is in, school zone. I will uh, use extra caution here. It does not adapt the speed limit to the school zone just yet. Should be getting in this lane now. It's going to go wide to the right up here. Stay to the left and it's going to go wide to the right. And it's going wide to the right. And it comes to an abrupt stop here um, and sort of wanders back into the middle. As you can see, maybe you can't see from this angle, but the path planner seems to want to go back around. So very much of the same. Uh, this is why I, I kind of had a feeling that I didn't want to do two passes on this one. This seems very much the same. Let's see how it handles this scenario with this car to the left and a parked car up here um, without incident. And again, these drivers are a little bit more aggressive today just because it's the morning time and everyone's trying to get to work and to school. So we'll see what happens. I'll let it, let it do its thing. Merges nicely, but that wasn't necessarily the right maneuver, just being in that lane. Hopefully we don't get caught by the train because it is the morning time and when I'm usually in this area um, during peak hours, morning, rush hour, the train seems to come quite frequently. It should proceed straight through the train track. And then when it makes a little bit of phantom braking, I'm getting a little bit of phantom braking twice now, some phantom braking here. It might bias towards the right, to get make this right turn and coming in a little hot and then it goes wide very wide to make the turn very very awkward pretty pretty bad i'm gonna flag that one that was bad went wide then it hesitated on making the turn so anyone behind me or trying to pass could have been in a predicament so that's very very bad um and we are here so this was pretty much the same um I don't want to give this a grade just now, just right now, just because I feel like it was the first drive and this update does not seem like a major sort of update here. It seems like a little bit of a, a bug fix patch update that didn't really fix anything. It may have even tweaked something else. So I don't want to give it a grade, but um, for the purposes of reference from this drive to maybe the next drive, which may bode better, under normal conditions, under normal weather, uh, I will say that um, level of comfort uh, was a five. Um, I would say decision making was also a five. And I would say um, safety was also a five. So straight fives through the board, maybe even borderline four in terms of safety because of that maneuver that went wide and then went this way for that turn uh, with no marked lanes. So this is not a good first run here. Um, for this particular build, 69.2.4, uh, uh, a little bit regressive from 69.2.3, but largely the same in terms of what it does, how it's you know programmed to uh, navigate certain roads in this area. Again, Northeast US, um, not West Coast, not Bay Area. So it's a little bit different 
And again, I just don't think they're quite tuning it right um, to adjust to the rules and the way people drive over in this area. So a little bit of an aggressive uh, drive, not too great. I want to give it a second shot under different conditions. Maybe it's not as foggy. Maybe, you know, the sun out is a little bit better, maybe a certain time of the day. I'm not sure, but I definitely want to give it another shot. But let me know your thoughts in the video. Let me know if you got this update, what you feel about it. Is it better than 2.3? Is it the same as 2.3? Is it worse than 2.3? Let me know in the comments. And until the next time, enjoy your day. Enjoy your Tesla.